There you go. Hell yeah. Wow, that kid just got blown up in an explosion. Yeah, he did. It's gotta hurt. I hope you guys don't get angry, but I have to smite you. I have to smite you. Butters is pretty good at smiting people, I won't lie. You should use Kenny. Oh. Uh, it wouldn't let me for this mission. Oh, really? Yeah. It was Butters Princess only. Kenny. Dude, this song for him is like the funniest Wait, thing ever. That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. Yeah, it was. So. Oh, I fucked it up. Wow, you just. Why hit the did you just like spank him? You know, I'm just trying to be gentle with him, is all. Um. Man, I could be watching TV right now. Man, I yeah, could be too. Could you be got a too. good point. I could be watching South Park. Or Naruto. Uh, yeah. Um, we left off at a very unfortunate part to leave off at. I don't even remember, like, what's going on there. Well, we probably shouldn't talk about it and ruin it for other people who might be listening. Dude, it's been over for, like, a yeah. minute. Yeah, Naruto's been over for, like, four years, bro. Yeah. We're waiting on you. <laughs> Well, that's like getting him. I mean, that's I, like know, I know. I know people. Dark I know people who uh, have started it not too long ago, like the OG Naruto. And you know, and you know one person that started OG Naruto a yeah, while ago. Yeah, Kamina but... dies in Gurren Lagann. No, <laughs> don't spoil that for him. Actually, <laughs> did you hear that? Spoiler uh, alert! It's been fucking like a decade. I know, but he's never seen that oh, show, and suck. I want to. I want to show it to him. Uh, He's I like heard... the greatest protagonist. I in know. My I love well, him. He's one I heard of the someone dies in Gurren Logan, so I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. I mean, like a shitload of people do. Thanks a lot, Bade. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Bade. Appreciate that. Glad Good to mental. help. Glad I was here for that. Uh, I just started oh, watching man. Full Metal Alchemist for the first time. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. We're watching, uh, Zach wanted me to watch the OG one first. Yeah. Yeah. You'll appreciate Brotherhood more when it when it comes time to watch that i don't think i have enough of that yet yeah uh we're only like four episodes in though but uh it's not it's not super long of a series right yeah oh i wanted uh, not that but i guess it'll do shout 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 at the devil oh i fucked that up I'm really fucking up these action commands. There we go. Bonus holy damage. <laughs> he keeps getting healed and stat boosted. Alright. I started Bonus. watching this show called Meglo Boxing, I think, or Meglo Box. It's on Toonami. It looked weird. It looked like these dudes wore like super gear and just boxed and this this guy was like uh he, he was like a illegal citizen but really good at fighting. So he would just take dives so that he could like make ends meet and that was just the whole first episode. And I was like, "Damn, this is kind of cool." And then I passed out cuz it was like 5 in the morning. Damn. I might check it out. You're always up so late, my dude. I feel oh, dude, it's like horrible. I feel like, uh, it would be stranger for you to go to bed at midnight. It would be strange if I was, yeah, in bed I like died. all the time. Oh, shit, yeah, you did. Oh, but you got to go to heaven. Meet the Mormons. That's oh, wow. cool. Wow, you died. I died. <laughs> you died. That's upsetting. That's, that's the first time, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I don't deserve this, but I'll accept you it. You definitely don't. Oh, I thought you meant, like, I was actually about to go to heaven and meet the Mormons. You got me excited. <laughs> no. I think I think they do something with that in... I thought I was about to hit the hunter's dream, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. yeah. Or the first time you die in GTA Online. People always forget about that, I feel like. The first time you uh, die in Grand Theft Auto Online, you go to this weird, like... You have this, like, transcendental fucking, like, nightmare vision. 
And that was awesome. Yeah. And then it's never talked about ever again. Like, ever again. I don't remember that, but it has been a while, yeah. so... Yeah, that game came out when we were, like, seniors in high school. Yeah. Yeah, it did. That was such a bitch to get that game. Oh my god, yeah. I had... still don't know why you made me come inside. To this day. Uh, well, why don't you tell the story? So, to get fucking Grand Theft Auto Five, I didn't have an ID at the time, right? And so I told this kid just How come to... you just never have that? Like ever. I don't know, dude. It's like an occurring thing in he my life. He likes living off the yeah, grid. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just an idiot, I guess. So I didn't have an ID at all because I didn't get my license until I was like fucking 19. Um, so, yeah, uh, I asked him just to get two copies of Grand Theft Auto for a pre-order. They because... wouldn't just give me two copies. Yeah, That's the thing. they fucking could because you were old enough to buy them. And you even said you're like, can I just get two copies? And the guy was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I was in there with you, and then I bought Skate 3. And I was not a big fan of that game. Hey, but uh, who makes the Skate games? Do you know? I forget. I want to say... I have to. It's like it's literally right here. I want to say it's like... Uh, I feel like EA has a part in this. You are correct. Fucking knew it. Toxic ass EA. Skate two. Hey EA, stop being a piece of shit and make Skate Four. Oh yeah. Skate two is one of my favorite games. I should have put that on my top seven list. But yeah, so um. All right, I got it's top eight now, and Skate two is on there. It's just gonna keep getting bigger. So yeah, so we go to GameStop and uh, he's like, "Can I pick up my shit?" And then he goes, "It's like." I don't know what you said, but you must have said something terrible because then you called me and then you were like. Yeah, it's, uh, this is my friend I'm getting the pre-order for. And then you put the dude on the phone, and the guy was like, yeah, you gotta come inside and, like, show that you're 18. And I was like, what the fuck? You're so then trash. I went yeah, inside. I don't remember any of that This part. is what happened. And then we went out to my house to find something to fucking prove that I was, like, of age. I think we had to show him, like, a picture of my birth certificate. No, you brought your birth yeah. certificate. Yeah. And I and just then, went, bam, I did. And then you're a cunt. No, remember he still wouldn't believe you, and you literally you had to pull up your. Oh uh, yeah, to pull up my Twitter picture. Yeah, you had to pull up. And your I was Twitter like, page. why are you such a fucking douchebag, GameStop yeah, that, guy? Yeah, no, that guy was being a huge asshole. Yeah, I, he just it definitely wouldn't. No, from. Sorry. Still love you. Sorry. Uh, Alex is just having bad I memories of this now. No, yeah, he gets triggered due to what I remember retail it, service. Because um, that was one of those games when I actually wasn't 18 when we were getting that. Either way, problem. you were they like... They wouldn't give me two of them. Dude, because but I remember, Because I remember trying to get it and I said... They, they like asked me who the other one was for. I remember... You'd be like, Vita Dick, that's who. You work at a GameStop and I'm not, I'm not getting pharmaceuticals. I'm yeah. getting a game. Yeah, I don't know. They they were asking me who the other one was for, and I said it was for my brother. And then they were just they were like, yeah, uh, uh, that that's what it was, because they said that it was for my brother, or I said it was for my brother, and then they said that uh, that they weren't just gonna give me two of them because they were being super strict about that game, because. Everyone should have brick. All the moms should have brick when Grand Theft Auto came out. Yeah, but and they were being that happens every time a GTA gets released. pretty much. That's why they said yeah, they didn't want to so make a new one. That was they were like, that was bad. why I think either way you, you, on the phone. You, you were like, sure, I'll just put this dude on the phone yeah, and made know. me come inside. So it all went to shit, and that guy was a dickhead. And yeah, I, know. I don't that know what he's doing right asshole. now, but I hope. I hope his life's not bad, but I hope he just gets minorly inconvenienced all the time. Yeah. Like, I hope I'm he has, sure like, he a, does. a good life, but, like, every- like, he hits every red light. Like, ever. There but, like, he's, he's still okay. I hope he always is looking for his keys. Yeah. Every time he leaves like, the place, he, like, always forgets his Somehow keys. Yo, his milk just goes expired me, all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Somebody wished that on me at some point. One of the most yeah. evil things I've ever heard someone say is, I wish they never had a dominant hand. And I was like, what? Like, you wish they lost their hand? 
And this guy went, no, I wish every day was a struggle for them because neither of their hands were dominant. So trying to write or do anything was an absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah, like you just didn't know what to do with these hands. You're like, hands are hard. And I was like, that would, I'd rather die. I'd rather be dead. That sounds like hell. I feel like I could see like Michael J. Fox saying, like, yeah, hands are hard. Like, yeah, hands, they're fucking difficult. Dude, I feel like every time I go to that GameStop, though, like, something happens. Like, the last time I went there, I was trying to, like, trade a controller in and get this game. And fucking, I got stuck behind a mom trying to, like, buy an Xbox so her kid could play Fortnite. And then she was just shitting on video games the entire time I was in there. And I wanted to be like, why are you at a GameStop if you hate video games so much? Um... Real quick, because she the doesn't story. feel like actually parenting her child. Dead ass. Spoiler tell the alert. story of, uh, of the Bakugan. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a friend of mine. Um, my friend Shane used to work at a GameStop, and he told me this. Uh, apparently, one day he was working, and this woman was like, You know, I'm looking for a game for my son. And he was like, Oh, alright, like, I can help you. And she was like, Yeah, it's called like Bukaki or something. And he was like, excuse me, and she's like, yeah, it's like Bukaki, like, I don't, I don't know, it's Japanese or some shit. And he's like, babe, I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. And she's like, Bukaki, you know, like, little fucking ball things, and then they like, don't they like, become something or whatever? And he's like, is that, like, Bakugan? And she's like, yeah, Bakugan, that's it, he wants a Bakugan game. And he was That's like, actually hilarious. To this day, he's like, yeah, I have no idea if she was fucking with me or not. If this woman had never heard of what Bukaki was, or she just didn't care. She was like, I'm just gonna say this. Like she realized she said it, and then was just like, I'm owning it. Yeah, we're, we're rolling with this. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it.